here we go, Ed Holmes, All-Star Promotions is proud to present four rounds of boxing in the welterweight division. This bout is sponsored in part by Frank Catron. Introducing our referee and judge of this bout, Hall of Famer, Dr. Lou Moran. And now, introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner, he is wearing black trunks, trimmed in gold. He is training out of Escondido by way of San Marcos, California. He weighed in at the welterweight limit of 147 pounds. His record, one win, two losses, with that single win coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Jonathan Guerrero Espino. His opponent across the ring on my right, fighting on the blue corner. He is wearing black trunks, surrounded in white. He is hailing out of Montebello, California. He made it 146 pounds. He brings to the ring an undefeated record. Three wins, no losses, with two wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Art and Arminio Sahakia. Once again, our referee in charge, Dr. Lou Moret, to give final instruction. This is going to be a four-round bout if you're just joining us in the welterweight division. Hall of Famer Lou Moret to call the action. It's going to be 22-year-old Sakyan versus 28-year-old Espino. Here we go. Everybody was eager to get these boxing matches started. It's a good jab there being shown by Sakyan. Right away, right away you see the great fundamentals by Sakyan. Okay, they're trying to make it a little bit messy, throwing uppercuts. Nothing really clean landing, though. Yeah, and I know this is barely the first 40 seconds of the fight, but Sakyan's looking very confident in there. Very, very composed, very focused. Showing some good defense there. Look at uppercut. Oh, gets caught there with the left hook, but he gives a left hook of his own. It's a good one, too. It's followed by a left hook for Sakyan. And we see Espino just getting very close to Sakyan, not giving him any room to breathe. Yeah, and that's what, that's what Espino wants to do. He doesn't want to give Sakyan that, that reach because if he... Stands at a distance, Sakin's just gonna pick him apart. Good shot there by Spino, but Sakyan with even better shots. Yeah, Sakyan, he looked unbothered through all those punches. Good shots there by Sakyan. Yeah, Spino, I, I feel like he's trying to establish that good body work. However, Sakyan is just countering him very well and throwing good combinations. Oh, oh. good shot inside by Espino. And it's shocking. Sakyan gets hurt with a, a massive left hook. And Sa Sakyan has to be very careful. Yeah, that he caught him clean on the on the chin there and you see it with a short left hook well oh, that here's the thing that you know the round came really early we still got 130 remaining in this round and that was a round that Sakyan was winning clearly up until that knockdown and now it's pretty even and Sakyan on unsteady legs that's the weather this storm great action to yeah. start this bout yeah Art's legs are not there right now yeah. his right foot is just kind of awkwardly and you would advise Sakyan to try to clinch and, you know, just weather this round and try to recover just a bit because another big hook by Espino could, could put Sakyan in trouble. That's a great round 
What a shot by Espino to remind the 22 year old second that he's in there with a the true fighter as well. Well, there you go. That's a 10 8 round for Jonathan. Yeah, I don't think Sakian was ready for that. It kind of caught him off guard. Sakian was doing everything right up until that moment. It just took a little window opening for Espino to sneak that hook inside and, and drop him. Yeah, I wanted to say that it was a flash knockdown, but no, he, I think Sock Count was hurt. Was hurt, yeah, he saw the we, legs. We saw by his legs, he was still a little shaky. But, you know, he did well. He still came forward at the end of the round. You see his trainer talking to him right now, advising him to get his legs back under him. But again, guys, this is a four-round bout. Sock has to push this. He has to win these next three rounds convincingly. Man, Sakyan, he's the undefeated fighter in this in this bout. But, you know, like we said, it's a four-round fight. And that doesn't really matter. Both guys are, are going to come out swinging. And in the first round, Sakyan got caught. Now Espino knows that he can hurt him. Sakyan has enough to hurt him as well. So this is going to be a very great bout. We well, see Sakyan now. Great combination right there by Art. And we knew that there was, this was coming. Sakin's going to want to even that round out, and he needs a knockdown too, oh, but he gets, gets caught inside. He needs to be careful. Yeah, he needs to be careful with Espino's left hook. That's the one that put him on, on the canvas in the first round. Sakin is determined to even these rounds a bit, but when you try to go for the knockdown, you also put yourself at, in danger of getting caught. Boy, it's, it's, it seems... Like Jonathan got caught with something because he's not. Well, forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> he oh. wasn't coming forward up until that point. Yeah. But you know the thing about Sakian is he he, ha he has to keep his right hand up he does, when he's exactly. throwing the jabs and the left hooks. Because Espino's throwing that left hook, and if he gets caught again, he could be in trouble. Yeah. So the Moret talking to his fighter. Oh. oh my goodness. That might be it, what a shot by Espino. It, and that's it. Oh, what a shot inside. And Sakyan just took it right on the money and he was out. His legs were just gone. Yeah, you, can, look good, guys. you can tell the heart in him wanted to continue, but wow, his legs were just shaky, gone. Shaky gone. Whoa, what an upset. What an upset here tonight. Wow, 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 wow. You see Lou Moret like shakes his head. He did not expect this either. It was, we're gonna see that replay again, guys. You can see Espino, and we talked about this. He had to be, Sakin had to be careful. Drops that arm right there, it gets caught inside and his legs were gone, gone. We see that replay one more time. And the thing is, Art was trying to get back up, but he, he should have taken the count. He should have yeah. just waited for the time to go by but once again you see those gloves is gonna drop you see that right come around rides right on the head and he did not take that well you can see we can still see him right now he's still on shaky legs yeah but I like you said Chris I think that was a lack of experience on his part he tried to get up right away and and he, he just he was very hurt like we saw he was and very hurt you know Lomaret is an experienced referee yeah, as soon as he saw him try to get up like that and stumble backwards he, and he, he, stum over. he stumbled bad very very bad He's still on shaky legs yeah, that was a nasty knockout nasty and that's something we talked about guys i i said he had to win the rounds but he he really tried to even it with a knockdown and when, you, you can't do that when you're hurt right away you, you have to weather that storm a bit. And for the beginning of the round, Art was winning that oh, round. Oh, Art was winning it convincingly. I think in, in the beginning of both rounds, he was winning the, those rounds until he got caught. But, you know, you got to question what his corner was telling him. Because he was clearly hurt after that first round. We could still see him. He's still out on his feet. You know, I, like I said, I don't know what his co corner told him, but he came out in that second round, tried to get it back, and... He got caught once again. And it's something that we noticed, uh, Espino timed him almost to perfection. He he caught him right on the button. And he just, oh, Sakin just did not did not look good. Like, And like we mentioned, he, he wasn't keeping his hands up when he was throwing. 
you know, he was letting both of his hands go and we got to take the gym to make it official. Round number two, referee in charge, Dr. Lou Moret stops the contest in favor of our winner. By way of knockout, Jonathan Guerrero Estino. Ladies and gentlemen, now in the ring from the championship belt company, the president, Armand Harkopian, to award our winner with a medal. Wow, what a way to start a boxing with the knockout. And that's something we talked about with Espino. Either he loses by knockout or he wins by knockout. Yeah, you clearly called it in the beginning of this fight. I was, I, honestly, guys, I was surprised how Sakin did not take that shot well. And it seemed like he never recovered from that. Yeah, his legs were gone. His, his team has to be careful with him because to me, he still looks out on his feet. Yeah, he's still walking he awkwardly looked, like towards the left. He clearly looked lost after, you know, that last knockdown and eventual knockout. That's yeah, something that we noticed. His legs were already really in bad shape that first knockdown. That second, if you get hurt that second time, it, it just amplifies the hurt from that first one. And so... This is this is gonna be a learning experience for Saka and he. Yeah, definitely. That was his first, the first loss of his career, and it, and it was a bad one. You know, if you're a young fighter like that, losing by knockout, that dramatic fashion, you know, we'll That's see how, how strong he is mentally if he can recover from that. There you go. Hey, fight fans. That's something that we talk about in boxing. One punch can change the entire bout. We saw Saka just. The, the 